Hey guys, even here, so New York Pro prejudging is a wrap and this is your top 4. So as you can see, you have Blasting Avoribu in the middle, most likely the winner. Blasting brought it, man, I mean, he, he came conditioned, shredded, I mean, full and round. I think he looks just as good as he looked at Indy, if not even better, but you can't really tell based on the live stream, though he didn't fade, which is kind of what is expected. If somebody peaks just perfect like he did at Indy, you would expect him to be a little bit worse next show next week, but not Blasting, he came in perfectly spot on, he looks amazing and he just might take that uh, New York Pro ring back home two Pro wins for a year back to back, that would be crazy but I'm saying just might because it is going to be a battle for that ring, for that first spot it's between him and Max Charles at least the way I see it and the way the judges are moving them I did not expect this from Max Charles, not this year I don't think anybody really expected this Especially not Nick Walker, when these guys were making their predictions for Indie Pro, Nick Walker was surprised that the other guys had Max in their top 5, he was really surprised, he was like, what? And now for New York Pro, some of them had him in like top 3, uh, but basically nobody really expected him to be really this close, and even maybe even winning this show he can actually end up winning this, honestly guys, you're gonna check out the other poses, I I'm thinking probably not because of back, you're gonna see that in a second, but look, this pose for example, it looks really good for Max, it's, it's possible, anything is possible really. Over there in the left you have Andrea Presti, who is probably going to be third at this show, he brought pretty good conditioning and he is pretty massive, he's probably bigger than everybody here in this lineup, and on the right, probably fourth spot, you have a Tio Leguerier, if that's how you pronounce his name, he's French, so let's just keep calling him Tio. Side chest, I think Blessing wins this one, uh, I don't know how much momentum is gonna have a role here, because Blessing just won Indie Pro, and maybe because of that he's going to have an advantage against Max, but it is a battle, though overall, the entire lineup, <laughs> let's be honest guys, it's a really weak lineup, I mean for New York Pro, that used to be the Night of Champions, third world's best bodybuilding show, but with time, for whatever reason, the depth of the lineups was slowly declining, the timing of this show is not ideal, I know that, if it was in March, like after the Arnold Classic, you would have many bigger names, if it was after the Mr. Olympia, of course, you would have even bigger names, yes, I know the timing is not perfect, but it was always like that, and so many bodybuilders still have to qualify, Everybody out of that top 5 Mr. Olympia lineup needs to qualify by winning a pro show and somehow, for some reason, they didn't choose that to be New York Pro, so the lineup is pretty shallow. Now, I paused here so you can see what Max's back looks like. Yeah, he's not in a pose, he's uh, in a transition, I know it's not fair, but here you can clearly see how, how thick his skin is and that he definitely needs to trim down whatever is there, water or fat, to have deep cuts like some of these guys actually do have. Particularly Blessing, and that's the reason why Blessing is probably gonna beat him. Justin Rodriguez failed miserably. As he said on his social media, I definitely have to agree, it is time for him to take some rest. He has been competing a lot lately and at some point the body wants to fight back and it just happened here, so he probably won't even crack the top 4 at this show, which is pretty bad for a guy of that, uh, of that stature. 8th at the Mr. Olympia was quite a result and that's why a lot was expected from this guy, but I still think it's probably gonna be blessing even though it's quite a battle between him and Max Charles. Now, again, they're turned around, so you can see the back, and that's probably why Blessing is gonna beat him. Uh, Blessing's lower back could be a little bit drier, but like upper back, lats, traps, shoulders, it all looks better than Max Charles, and that back is the reason why I have Blessing winning this show and beating Max Charles, even though Max is pushing him quite a bit from the front. Here is Amir Omeragic on the left, the guy is 22, 23 and he's standing with his freaking monsters here. Andrea Presti is dwarfing everybody basically. And Justin, again, failing again really badly with that conditioning, whatever the reason may be, who knows. I just know that he needs to take some time off, compete to the Mr. Olympia if he has enough points in the end. If not, just wait for the next year and compete again after you are fresh and well rested. 
So as far as top 4, here it was. And don't be confused, the reason why Andrea Presti and Theo are in the middle is because the judges are trying to determine who is uh, third and who is fourth. But as far as first two spots, it's pretty it's pretty reserved for those two guys on the sides right now, Blessing of Oribu and Max Charles. And most, most likely it's gonna be Blessing, but I am quite surprised with how much Max Charles actually pushed Blessing at his show and with his conditioning. I don't think he ever brought conditioning like this. And yeah, he looks really grainy, really, really freaky, especially in that most muscular and a couple of other poses as well. But from the back, not that good. Before we move on guys, if you wanna try this old school labs product, it's called the Vintage Build, click on the link in the description of this video and use the code DEVON for a 12% discount. Vintage Build is basically amino acids, essential amino acids, BCAAs, actually combined with creatine and also glutamine. So it tastes amazing, it is a great thing to drink it while you're training, before you're training, whatever in the day, it's really refreshing and has a lot of benefits, muscle building benefits with it. So guys, if you wanna support me and my channel, click on the link and buy this product, try it out, tell me how you like it. Seems like Blessing was so confident that he didn't even try to step over the line and to get closer to the camera and to the judges to look bigger. The judges, they don't really care too much about this, they can see who is what size, what they are more concerned in that first row is conditioning and maybe Blessing is catching better lighting because he's standing right where he's supposed to and the other guys are stepping forward a little. The judges saw who is where with size, they know who is bigger and these guys are all matching each other, it's gonna be more about conditioning, completeness and that kind of stuff for the camera you know, that's a different story, Max and Andrea Presti and Theo may look much bigger than Blessing, but it is just out-angling, really, Blessing stands a little bit behind everybody else, and, you know, Blessing isn't really that big of a guy, you might seem he's taller, but really what he is, is a guy with really small joints. Take a look at those wrists, man, when he's doing that front double bicep, look at how tiny his wrists are, right, right below his fists, like, it's insane. And that's why he seems to be bigger than he actually is. And he has great shape, he brought really good conditioning and he picked properly. But this is surprising how good Max Charles is looking in some of these poses like front double bicep. Usually he looks good in the most muscular and abs and thighs. But this time around he looks good in pretty much every pose. Not so much in the back poses, but those are even not that bad. Uh, here in the front lat, as you can see... It actually looks like his legs are a little bit harder, more conditioned than Blessing. And also his chest looks more separated and harder. So maybe that's something the judges are able to see better than us from these photos. And maybe that's why Max is going to beat Blessing and win New York Pro. But I really don't think that's gonna happen. It's very unlikely. Blessing is hitting a vacuum, Max has great abs, he's showcasing them, and Justin has a huge bubbly problem. His midsection, his stomach was definitely protruding, and not just that, he was just not conditioned. There was no lines, no separation, uh, no dryness, hardness, and all that stuff, so he definitely didn't even deserve to be in that top 4. Again, a little break for him and then come better than ever. At the same time, you can see Blessing hitting a great vacuum and Max flexing and showing those incredible abs. All things considered, it looks like a fun show, like an interesting show. You have to be honest, you have to admit, not the deepest lineup, not by any stretch. You would expect more from quote-unquote third biggest bodybuilding show in the world. But from what we got, these guys brought pretty good packages. They came conditioned. Definitely a breakthrough year for Blessing. And if he wins another pro show, and if that is a New York pro, this is going to be a huge, huge year for him. And I just can't wait to see him at the Mr. Olympia stage compared to the other guys, compared to Nick Walker especially. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and for more videos like this and for finals of New York Pro and all kinds of bodybuilding videos, subscribe to this channel guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.